Hello people, the uh, time has finally come where I leave the old days of X and Y behind and venture into the next half a generation with uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Uh, so today I have a battle uh, with this new new team I constructed uh, against uh, a certain person called Squid, aka Ryan, aka Squid Prince. Uh, he's a fellow YouTuber. Who also does Pokemon uh, battle videos. I'll uh, link his channel in the description. And uh, yeah, so let's talk about the teams for a moment. Um, I'm running a couple on those, uh, I don't know what you call them, event legendaries, I guess. I've got the Jirachi and the Deancey here. Just sort of putting together whatever uh, I had left over from various things in uh, X and Y. Um, that Deancey is obviously the Mega Deancey. I say obviously, but it's not right. Whatever, it's a it's a Mega Deancey uh, running a little rock polish set. It's it's fun to use. It's uh, Mega Deancey is really uh, pretty, really quite pretty in this game. You know, it's all, all that little sparkly shirt and stuff. Um, while my opponent is also running a fairly interesting theme. There's obviously the Mega Lopunny, but also Rhyperior, which you don't really see uh, too often, and uh, Gastrodon, which also you don't see very often, which are both uh, big pains, big pains for me, as we head off into this battle. Uh, anything else I'd like to say? No, no, I think, I think, uh, I think we're good to, uh, good to start. Now, uh, let's see, I'm gonna lead off with the Jirachi, um, because this is, uh, Scar Jirachi, so I can scatter whatever he says. I can't just lead off with Excadro because I'm scared of, uh, Get over this thing coming in, basically. Um, I'm afraid he'd uh, lead off with the Kukul to try and uh, stop me from setting up Stealth Rocks or whatever. Uh, so I'm expecting a knockoff right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and U-turn out into Deancey with the uh, Mega Stone. Can uh, can take it pretty nicely. We've got this resisted. Doesn't lose its item either. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Mega Bob right off and uh, hit this guy up with a Moon Blast. Um, yeah, and uh, as you're gonna see, the Moon Blast does a hell of a lot of damage, and it's actually enough to completely take out this Typhoon. Not sure, not sure what Squid was expecting here. Maybe it's Assault Vested, or maybe missed out an item or something. But either way, it's gonna be able to take it out pretty handily. And uh, how comes the Gastrodon? I can't touch Gastrodon, and it can do a lot of damage in return with Scald or Earth Power. So I'm gonna go ahead and search into my own Bulky Water, Melodic, as a uh, the Gastron actually gets off a stockpile, which is uh, a little bit scary for me because um, I don't want this thing scaling up, set, setting up. So I'm, I'm I'm a bit intimidated, so I'm just gonna go straight for the toxic, try and stop it from setting up. But uh, it's it's the obvious play, and uh, Squid's gonna switch around to the Gengar to take out that top the the protect the toxic nicely and go for the Shadow Ball, fishing for that Spadef drop, but uh, it's not gonna get it, and uh, I'm gonna get the Scold. Now Skull plus the Life Oil Recoil is going to be a two-hit KO on my part, and uh, yeah, guys really not going to do much back in return, so uh, Squid doesn't have much he can do other than switch out. Is what I was expecting, but actually he stays in and tries to go for the Sludge Bomb, which uh, isn't still isn't going to be enough. So I'm going to finish off the Xerxes with the uh, Scold. Is that an FMA reference? I don't know. Maybe. Um, and my Melodic is going to be re reasonably healthy. It's about a quarter HP. Oh, just over a quarter at 73. Yeah, just over a quarter. And as he, uh... Yeah, Squid switches out the blue punny. I'm expecting a fake out. So, I reckon fake out plus whatever other move he wants to use can probably take out my melodic from that HP. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out into Jirachi expecting the fake out. But actually, this girlfriend of his is going to go for the drain punch. Hit me up for that stab neutral. Uh, neutral effectiveness with stab is going to do a reasonable bit, about about third maybe. But uh, yeah, he doesn't want to stay in against because he can't finish it off the Jirachi, and I'm scarfed as well. So I'm going to go for the fire punch, try and get that burn with the uh, Serene Grace. I don't get the burn, but I get the crit. But as you can see, this Rhyperior is a bit of a monster. Takes it up with like no no problems, and and I don't get the burn either, which is annoying. So at this point, I'm thinking the switch into Talent Flame is very predictable. So I'm expecting him to go for the Stone Edge, which is why I switched to Mega Deancey, but actually uh, he goes for the Substitute. Oh, that just goes to show I have no idea what Rhyperior is capable of, and uh, sub-leftovers Rhyperior is actually uh, 
going to be a bit of a headache for my team. Um, I can't switch out right now, otherwise he's going to keep his sub up, so I, at this point I have to sack Deancey. As you guys feel quick, like if I switch to um, Talonflame to try and take take the Earthquake, then there's no way I can take out the substitute with a Brave Bird or a Flare Bit, so... Uh, likewise, Excadrill dies to Earthquake. Who else? I suppose there's um, Melotic, but Melotic's on like, not that much health either. Uh, Greninja can't switch in on that thing. And then take like three Earthquakes or no. So I have to sack my DLC at that point. Um, if I switch it to Excadrill, when I expected the Stone Edge, when Rhyperia came out, then maybe I might have a chance there, and then keep the Mega Deontay for later. But that nah, didn't happen. I made the made a bit of a misplay because I didn't expect the substitute. Now I go for the Ice Beam at that point, um, basically expecting the Gastrodon to come out. But like it's still safe because even if he stays in, I still do a bit of damage to the Rhyperia as well. But if I if I was more real, I could have gone straight into Melotic, but as you can see. Uh, it doesn't matter, and it comes to a bit of a stall wall at this point, so uh, I'm going to speed up the video right here. Uh, I'm going to get the recover off, try and get a bit more health back, as uh, uh, Squid's going to keep spamming the Earth Power. He gets a death drop at this point, which is a bit of a headache for me. So he's basically going to keep spamming Earth Power, trying to get a nice death down. Now it's really interesting, because I was expecting him... I don't know, he could, for a start he could just uh, spam stockpiles against uh, Milotic if I'm trying to stall him out, which uh, he doesn't do. And secondly, I expected him to have some sort of, like, I expected him to have Recover, so, but as you're going to see, he doesn't ever use it, so I'm not sure, I'm not sure what it says. Stockpile, Skull, Earth Power, I'm not sure what its last slot is, because it's not Recover. Otherwise, you know, he would use it. Um, anyway, my ice beam, I'm going to keep spamming the Ice Beams out, it's just neutral damage, doesn't get, you know, messed up by the Water Absorber or anything. Uh, so I'm going to keep that going on as the uh, Toxic's going to whittle down, whittle down this mysterious mystery. Maybe, maybe that's the mystery. What is it? What is Mystery's fourth move? That is... Bleh. What is Mystery's fourth move? That is the mystery of mystery. Uh, at this point I'm going to switch out Talonflame, try to finish off the Blave, Brave Bird. But then at that point I realized if I finish off the Brave Bird, that's just uh, an opportunity for Rhyperior to come back in and set up. So then I change my mind, I go back into Melotic. Uh, which is actually really good because uh, I get the I get burned, which is going to proc my uh, Marvel scale, which uh, boosts my defense by 50% uh, when I'm affected by a status condition. And finally, the Gastron is going to go down. So in the end, uh, switching out to Talonflame to bait out the Scold and then getting burned on the Melotic turns out to be a really, really unintentionally good play by me. Uh, then this 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 thing's going to come out right now. I don't know if it has Grass or not. I'm sure if I had Grass Knot it would come out earlier, but I want to make doubly sure. So I'm going to go into Tan and Flame just to make sure it doesn't have Grass Knot, and uh, he reveals that the Koga does not have um, Grass Knot, so that's fine. I can switch back out to Melotic uh, easily. Um, oh no, that's not what I I switched out to Melotic because if I finish. Cause basically, I was expecting my period to come back. I can't let it set up a, a substitute because that's a free kill for him. That's what happened. Uh, so I'm gonna, so so I make the double switch back into uh, Melotic again, expecting the Rhyperia to come out, and uh, I'm Burt now, so I'm pretty sure I could take whatever he wants to come at me with. Also, I'm faster, so I can get a free recover, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to stay in anyway. So I use this opportunity, just go for a random scold, uh, try and fish fish for a burn. Uh, see what comes out of that, and uh, actually I do get the burn against this uh, Greninja, which is uh, helpful. It's helpful. Um, he doesn't have anyone to take Toxic either, so Toxic could have worked as well, but I don't know, just in case he wanted to stay in, Skull's probably the best play. Uh, getting a Toxic off and a Greninja doesn't, isn't that much of a deal either. Uh, isn't that much of a big deal either. Um, in the short term, probably the, the Skull plus burn damage probably does more damage anyway. So yeah, I think that was uh, a... a uh, Bit, bit haxy, bit haxy of me because it's obviously not guaranteed, but it doesn't matter too much anyway since uh, Greninja's not the most bulkiest of Pokemon and even uh, even Melotic should be able to take him out fairly easily with whatever attack. Um, he's going to keep going for the Dark Boss, keep trying to, I suppose, get the flinch and he does get it. So so I'm pretty I'm pretty worried because if he got the flinch before then I think he might have been able to take out Melotic because I wouldn't have been able to get the recover off, but um, at this point... Uh, ooh, after that burn... After that last burn, I think 
a dark boss would actually be able to kill me, so at this point I'm going to switch out. Yeah, so maybe that maybe that flinch did matter. I'm going to switch out. Yeah, yeah, it did, did a bit. So I'm going to switch out to my own Greninja. Uh, just to take the dark boss pretty nicely, and uh, at this point I'm just going to go for the speed tie. I should be able to take most hits. Like, what does Greninja run? Like, maybe Gunshot can probably take out my Greninja. But I'm going to finish him off with the Scold anyway. Uh, I'm going to win the speed tie, finish off with the Scold, I mean. I'm not sure if it, I'm not sure if it mattered. I don't know what to say, you'd run through, it's like, because Dark Boss... I'm guessing it's like Dark Boss, or maybe it's like pure special or something, I don't know if it has Gunshot or not. But, I don't know, maybe the speed tie mattered, maybe it didn't. I can't say for certain. Now I'm going to go back to Talonflame at this point, um, after seeing the uh, Lopini, because I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a uh, Fake Out, because he didn't use it last time. I'm pretty sure it only has Drain Punch and some other moves. It actually reveals the Endure right now. Um, which uh, which I was, I was uh, what's the word, confused about at the time, because I don't you don't really see Endure often at all. I'm not sure why why he was running it, but as as you're about to see, there's a there's actually an incredibly good reason why he's running a Joe, as you probably guessed right now already. Uh, so I'm gonna go out to Jirachi. I mean, Drain Punch only does like a third of its health. I'm not too worried about it. Um, switching in on against Lopunny, and I'm just gonna go for the Iron Head. Um, go for the Iron Head, like maybe Fish for a hack, because I'm expecting my period to come out soon anyway. And uh, I'm thinking Iron Head, you know, it's that stab. I got the flinch chance, it shouldn't have taken too much to take out the Rhyperior anyway, and uh, as you can see, Rhyperior is a bit of a massive uh, goddamn tank. If I had um, Deancey still alive right now, then Earth Power would be fine, but like, I don't, so that insane defense stat is really going to come through for uh, for Squid right about now, as uh, he finally takes out the Jirachi with the um, Earthquake. Uh, at this point, I'm panicking a little because my whole game plan was relying on my Jirachi being able to 1v1 a Rhyperior for some reason, so I'm not sure what to expect. And then I remember Marvel Scale prop. I'm, my Melotic is exceptionally tanky right now and it's faster than Rhyperior, if that's uh, because, yeah, just base stats, it's gotta be faster. Uh, so I could basically just take an Earthquake pretty easily, like, that doesn't even do, like, it doesn't even get me to yellow from less than full health anyway, so I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine with this uh, matchup at the moment. I'm going to spam recover a bit more just to try and get uh, as high a health as possible for when I go up against the low bunny. Uh, so that's a couple of terms of um, cover going down as uh, he, he uh, futilely attempts to take it out with the earthquake. Nah, that's not going to happen. Like. If I didn't get burnt earlier, then this definitely wouldn't be happening, or it would, or I'd have to like spend more time using recover or something, because otherwise, uh, otherwise, yeah, my defense wouldn't be as high as it is. But as it stands, the Marvel scale, Marvel scale Melotic is uh, really putting in work at the moment. Mel Melotic is really the MVP. Like, it's a bit, I, fi I find it underrated a little. Like, my friends are always going on about like, oh, don't use Melotic, use Rotom. But like, if I was using Rotom, I don't think I would have won this battle, because Melotic is just great. And actually, now I find out why it has Endure, because of the Flail. 200 base damage, normal, plus stab. Still can't take out Melotic, if I have the Marvel Scale. Like, that's amazing. Provided it's probably a roll I survived on 1 HP, but even then... I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I really enjoy... I, really enjoyed uh, using Melotic this battle. Uh, real MVP. So, yeah, good game. That was really, really close to the end. Um, after, if Melotic went down to that, I reckon Squid probably would have won, because who I had left back? I had Excadrill, who actually never made an appearance in this battle. Uh, Excadrill wouldn't be able to take anything. What, well, Talonflame was dead already. I think I had one more, but I think I had Greninja, like Mega Blow Pony outspeeds Greninja anyway. So, um, yeah, like, Megalopoly would have been able to finish on my team like if my Melotic went down. So that was a really close game, actually. Uh, I had lots of fun. It was a really, like, intense battle. Um, yeah, so, so good game. And uh, what else is there? Oh, Greninja's actually being suspect tested now. As you saw uh, in this battle, both of us were actually using a Greninja. Um, really first tile Pokemon. I don't know if it's broken, though. 
it can't stop Megalobuddy. <laughs> like, Megalobuddy, like, just generally, like, uh, takes a, takes a, takes a dump on Greninja, to be honest. Um, lots of the new Megas are actually a lot faster than Greninja anyway. There's a, there's a big speed creep going on, like, Beedrill as well, easily outspeeds. Um, what, Mega Skeptile? That'll also, like, base 145, that'll, uh, outspeed Greninja as well. So I don't even think Greninja's that fast, like, uh, if Nintendo did balance, then I'm sure it'd just easily be a case of, like, maybe tuning Greninja's speed down a little bit, but as it stands, we only have Smogun and the ban mentality to balance the game, so to speak. So, uh, at the moment it looks like it's gonna go to, it's probably gonna look go to Ubers, but we'll see how it turns out. Like. Loads, loads of there's actually a surprising amount of megas that can outspeed, but I don't know if they're too situational or not. And they definitely can't switch it either. Like they might be able to outspeed, but they can't switch it on it, which is I think is another big problem as well. Does that sound like I have a bit of a cold? I don't know. I think my voice is going a bit funny. Um, anything else I need to say? Oh, oh, it's the twenty fourth of December. Uh, happy Christmas Eve, um, everyone. I uh, hope you get uh, tons of nice presents, or spend good time with your family, or if you're not into that, then just, uh, just do do what you normally do. Just, 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 yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Hey, one week before uh, New Year's, that's something we all celebrate, right? Unless you're like, conservative Chinese and still go by the lunar calendar or something. Okay, maybe not. Um, Happy Winter Solstice? That, that's something. I don't know. I'm, I'm talking crap now. But Yeah! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy Happy New Year, too. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the new year with uh, another fresh fresh load of videos. I'm not saying that this is going to be the last video this year, but... Who knows? Who knows what the future brings? Alright. Uh, peace out, you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to uh, Ryan. Ryan the Squid. Squid Prince. Alright, I'm out.